Okay, students, today is an exciting day. Today we get to transform our clay animals into looking like an actual animal. You are gonna need some supplies. You're gonna need paint for the color of your animal, so think about what color your animal would be. Water to share at your table. And brushes. You may need several brushes of different sizes. Some for the larger areas to paint, but you might get down to details like the little bit of bitty eyes, or if you want to put spots on your animal or stripes, you might need a smaller brush. So to start, once I'm all ready and have my supplies, I'm going to take my penguin here, and I'm going to start with the big areas first. So I'm going to get the black. Now, water is your friend here, remember that. Water is going to help spread out the paint. So I'm going to get a little bit of water on my brush and get the black and start on the big areas that I know I don't have to worry about getting into the eyes or where I might make a smudge somewhere else where there's not supposed to be black. So I'm gonna use my large brush for this and use a little bit of water to help spread it out. The water really helps the paint flow and move so that I can cover large areas quickly. Now you might have an animal like a frog or a toad or a cat where the fur might have more than one color. For example, on my frog here, I started with green and then added colors on top of it afterwards. Or my bird, I did blue, but then added some other blues, some whites, and even some black to show some different feather colors. For my penguin, he's just going to be black. So once I get most of this filled in, now I have to be a lot more careful when I'm getting closer to the edge here where this is going to be white. So I'm going to carefully hold my penguin here and take this brush and get close to the edge, but try not to get on my feet or where I want it to be white, because it's gonna be hard if it gets black on there to then be white afterwards. So once this is all painted, and you can see I'm constantly dipping in the paint and a little bit in the water, but when I go in the water, I go dip, wipe, swipe. So I'm dipping, I'm swiping, and I'm wiping, okay, to get more paint on there. Now the black is almost done. Need to get the top of the head covered here. I'm getting very careful when I'm getting to the top. I might have to switch brushes here in a second because I don't want to get it in the white of the face. All right, when this is done, I'm gonna switch colors and I'm also gonna switch brushes because I'm going to do a area that is smaller, so I'm gonna use a smaller brush. I'm gonna carefully get under his beak here without getting on the beak. Okay, I think if we look at my penguin, he's mostly covered. And notice even little spots, you wanna look around if there's a spot of clay coming through the white clay, I want to fill that in. I don't want any of that showing. Okay, once it's all black, I think I'm good to go. Time to switch brushes. So I'm gonna get a medium-sized brush. This is a round brush. And I'm going to put it on here. Now, notice I didn't dip in my water first, which I should have, which makes it hard for the paint to move. So I'm making the front of my penguin white here. But when I'm doing the face or the eyes, I need to get even smaller for my brushes. So I'm gonna get even another brush. This, this is a smaller one. And I'm going to do my eyes of my penguin. And around the face here. And you can see I'm gonna keep building it up. If I need to switch colors, make sure you dip in the water, wipe, and swipe for a new color. So if I want to do my beak, I'm careful not to get in my other areas of color. Now it can be kind of fun to mix some colors. So you might want to, instead of just having an orange beak, maybe I want it to be orangish yellow. So I'm going to clean my brush, wipe, swipe a new color. Maybe I want some yellow mixing in with my beak. And I would use this on my feet too. 
And you can see how I'm building up. Now my eyes of my penguin look kind of hollow without the pupil. So I'm going to very carefully take some black and I'm going to paint the inside of my eyes of my penguin. The last step would be, when I'm done, and I'm obviously not done, would be to add details like if I want the little dots on his beak. Or if you were going to add any kind of texture or color, like my turtle here, the shell, or on my bird, how I added to the wing, and my frog, the details of my bee and the spots. Have fun with it. Think of all the different things your animal has on it, the details.